the advantage of rain to think in sequence. The tree, which remains nameless, is universal in persisting, as trees persist, observant. In this field through which the ravished motors of America drive by and shake artificially stagnant wind resting on shale bones, the dormant abstraction, then a pilgrim's cloth without human, whelping, barely animated, a pilgrim's deflated platinum arm, wavering prune, wrinkled leaf, a fist perhaps, crabbed with darkness, consumes pilgrim, and the trees observant way. A pilgrim or dervish, sun color disappears, turning toward the aperture, dripping on leaf, stippled with hairpins, hobnail boots to track rings, shorn invisibly clothed in borrowed transparency. Wind rubs back, taps into lexicon of furnace, and here remains the draft coolness, the jejun coolness which I do not recognize, as having been previously as porous as self-maturation. We begin with a dried elbow, again on wet moss, clipped to a vent, metallic, riveted, an index, as original drip, or something liminal, like hand covering luminous sheet. Sound putters out of each hole in city bark to pollinate speech with suppressed indicatives, or a sleeping geld gently caressed into echoing. Mutation first as wart, then appendage, a limp that colonizes hip range. Sonority blinks after me, a chasing that reduces my emptiness collectively licked. Red tunic I wear when curtains spill, brown with thin robe, eviot blanket chafing skin, nakedness and peeled nude, a drama, for which a single voice hobbles a burst. I find this meaning, wail, gnomic sound, the same tide, the fluorescent itself and fragility of innocence, how much it transgresses in seeing ourselves as age or architect of an entirely new surface, a soapbox where I stand with threads of incomplete discourse. In the vocative element of drama, what happens within label, squish of dew, upon leaf, bending, florally against inviolable abundance for which the observant tree is demonized. With feculent ease, an apostle reads borrowed sweat of name. This figure accumulates stillness, learns monkhood through spigots in cellular casks, skunking through dimensions. We then raise our wrists on and over like talons. Delirium dangles from tree exuding a dialogue with sand the crust of a cloud travels toward me i am stilled in the elephant dark the raisin nocturnal black blanketing me touching organic group i cannot see within darkness i am fleshed i live on a rock with blushing tree seeped in a demon whose demotic ease perpetuates horn fatigues farcical when we hoist ink I sleep on a cask floating down a river I cannot see, the current clouds under water veins, sluggish voids of moss that slumber in the dizzy perplexity of water. As I sleep, I also walk, a portal of fenced dreams I kept out wrapped in thorns, the wisteria in the eye of rapture, which sticks out at the center has another portal or blob made of consoling blackness. The crack in the cask regains a second river. I need not weigh myself to know the dissolute and substantial presence. Scratch the pierces notation in dark, rust, preamble for its appearance. The cold and solitary feet, to avoid language I have lost, I dip into a glossy figment where trees return to die, their roots stiff in duration. 
Morocco plume dissolving in weft I do not recognize, this lulled country or the ricochet of lines across the limbed horizon, a naked petal, legs paddling despite a glow, ceaselessly falling, it is vulturous, the deceptive feeling of ease, what opens inside and remitten, blowflies marooned between worlds, in sequence of dark to dark, the traveling drop in motion never arrives, from where wor words leap, suture the girds, breathing vertical, ventricle. Intravenous slippage, enclosure, the vector travels within not a brain that belongs solely to me, do in garbage hump, animal furor, inclined, sequential rain, each tree has a dormant silt in the crack of observant, vector traveling retrograde, surmises clean cuspid bark, in a series to which each downpour furnishes another integer pattern, swarm of aphids in a leaf's fold, purifying catharsis, a drop contracts within bullpen of an eye in fretted hanging. I perceive a moment similar to the suck, pump of breath, inspiration that swells, materialize observation, shadow of tree leaning, slow fiery point, dripping with sogginess, one that a tree comprehends as plosive elasticity. My legs folded and knees played sideways, my palms shaped as bird wings. I do not meditate in water, but curl within volley dispersion, the rude seam of frayed velveteen, one step away from nakedness, every patter that touches matches a patter orchestrally departing. It is raining. It is not raining.